Good morning and happy Mother's Day. I'm Mike Strelo. Welcome to CBS 58 Sunday Morning. Coming up, making music from afar. Michael Schlesinger is with a school choir director finding creative ways to engage his students and those from across the state. Plus, Natalie Shepard meets a fitness coach, keeping his clients moving for health, fun, and charity. And later, Megan Reistad shows us people using their extra time at home to welcome a new family member, why pets of the pandemic are thriving. Also ahead. It is unique because no other building is like this. You can't build anything like this anymore. It's made out of uh, Cream City brick, which cannot be made anymore. That material is long gone. Secrets of Milwaukee's oldest existing Roman Catholic cemetery. In our Sunday morning spotlight, Rose Schmidt takes us inside the chapel at Calvary Cemetery in the Story Hill neighborhood. Usually closed to the public, the chapel is a vault of Milwaukee history with a band of local history lovers working to keep it preserved for future generations. But first, in our ongoing commitment to keep you informed of the latest developments in the coronavirus pandemic, we check in with the CBS 58 News Studio. Good morning, Mike. Many restaurants are preparing for Mother's Day this morning in our new normal of takeout only. At Cafe Benelou, they're getting ready to start a modified service for the first time since they closed. They're selling brunch in bed kits. They also have mimosa and Bloody Mary drink kits with all the ingredients included for you to make at home for mom. We had brainstormed it over a couple of weeks and we just we, we wanted we wanted people to be able to, you know, not have to go through all that effort of going to the grocery store and figuring it out, but still do something really special for mom and to be able to surprise her with something that's pre-made and, and fun. Many restaurants will likely see a fraction of their normal business on Mother's Day this year. <laughs> And Waukesha County first responders held a special parade in Heartland for Ella Mae Callison, who turned 102 years old. Friends and family tell us she was born and lived her entire life in Heartland. Happy birthday to her. In the studio, Mark McPherson, CBS 58. In addition to nourishment, breastfeeding promotes bonding between a mother and child. But is it safe to do during the COVID-19 pandemic? Kim Shine has the answer from medical experts and spoke with moms about their concerns. And when she was a kid, she could not say m &Ms. To many women, fewer things are more precious than motherhood. They say pretty much the same thing. It's a lifelong journey. <laughs> filled with love. You're just not first anymore. It's this little human being that really needs you. Filled with patience. With patience, you can get through anything. And some sacrifice. Even trying to go take a shower last night, my daughter threw a hissy fit because she wanted to go take a shower with me and I just wanted to shower by myself. But aside from having children, these moms have something else in common. Rachel Olson, Shayla Downey, and Christina Loaisa chose to breastfeed their children and they're continuing to do so during the coronavirus pandemic. It is liquid gold and you just have to be confident in the powers of yourself as a breastfeeding mom and in the power immune uh, immunities and there are antibodies and breast milk that protects the babies from viruses as well as um, bacteria. Dalvary Blackwell is a Milwaukee-based international board-certified lactation consultant. She's also a co-founder of the African American Breastfeeding Network. Many mothers um, were experiencing some levels of stress because you know stress is part of life but now with COVID-19, it has been compounded. Definitely, I would say that I'm very anxious and uh, fearful, um, especially for my baby, because um, he's just so little and um, he's just three months old. We don't know, you know, who has what or who's a kid. Because, like, right before all of the, the pandemic actually started happening, our whole household was actually sick. As of the airing of this story, there are more than 8,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Wisconsin. More than 3,200 of those are in Milwaukee County. We've had a handful of women who've been impacted by the coronavirus tested positive during their pregnancy. Dr. Garrett Fitzgerald is a maternal fetal medicine specialist at the Frederick Medical College of Wisconsin. Our 
experience of the patient population has been similar to that worldwide of pregnant women and newly delivered women not having necessarily a higher risk of critical illness, uh, which we see with other viruses, uh, but we see that they can still have the very uncomfortable and persistent respiratory symptoms. If a mother contracts COVID-19, the doctor says her milk is still safe. Research has also shown that the virus is not transmitted in this way. Yet while nursing, the doctor advises hand washing, enhanced cleaning of the skin or pump, and wearing a mask if needed. There is no question that the coronavirus pandemic is applying great pressure to us all. But for these moms, dude, dude, the health and safety of their children will always come first. That means this Mother's Day might be a bit different for them and for moms across the world. But Rachel, Christina, and Shayla say that's okay. Be the best you can be, because guess what? Your children are not looking for you, you know, to, you know, perfect person. They're looking for you to be the best mom to them. It's been pretty emotional because we miss them very much. On the creative side, how local students found a way to reach out to a beloved teacher. We are not alone in this. Everybody is going through something right now. And next, some motherly advice for making it through the pandemic. In this uncertain world, you are right there on the front lines. Facing the unknown and risking your own lives to save ours. The work is hard, the hours are long, and the stress can be overwhelming. But your work has not gone unnoticed. We see you and we appreciate everything that you do. Stay strong and keep fighting the good fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's best we stay apart for a bit, but that doesn't mean you're in this alone. We're automatically refunding our customers a portion of their personal auto premiums. We're also offering flexible payment options for those who have been financially affected by the crisis. We look forward to returning to something that feels a little closer to life as we knew it. But until then, you can see how we're here to help at libertymutual.com slash COVID-19. We wrote the book on replacement windows here at Mad City Windows. Now take a look at our custom-made EcoSky windows, featuring sky mirror technology and layers of low E to give your home an energy upgrade. You know Mad City, Wisconsin's number one rank remodeler. And you can count on us to put a high-performance Energy Star rated window in your home. And you can take advantage of the Factory Direct Window Blowout Sale. Get a house full of windows for $29.95. $29.95. Ask about zero down, zero payments, and zero interest for 18 months. Look at the bonus. Buy seven or more premium windows and get a patio door installed for free. Call during this program and get a free Walmart or Amazon gift card with estimate. Be sure to ask about our our virtual online estimates. Call us here in the greater Milwaukee area right now at 262-381-1000 for a free estimate. 262-381-1000. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel works because it's built around real life. It teaches you everyday practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Try it free at babbel.com. Forget mom. This year, more than ever, mom, mom needs some something nice.
And that something nice is often flowers, the top pick for a Mother's Day gift year in and year out. And while this Mother's Day will look different in many households because of the pandemic, the owner of the Flower Lady in Wauwatosa, Deb Fowler, is grateful her business can continue to offer local delivery and curbside service. On this Mother's Day and year round, parents are looking for fun things to do with their kids, especially with safer at home restrictions in place. Last year, Tori Bacayas met a local mother who created a one-of-a-kind resource that connects moms, dads, and caregivers with family-friendly activities and events. We're trying our best. Some days are better than others, as I'm sure people can relate to. For Callie Herbst, being a mom has long been more than a title. It's become part of her profession. We're just trying to take it one day at a time. The Glendale mother of three is like a lot of parents these days, planning days of distance learning for her children, while working from home and navigating the new normal of 2020. We just like to get out and about and, and um, my kids know that I love to go have adventures. I first met Kelly last year to learn more about her website, Milltown Moms, a resource for Milwaukee area mothers looking for local family friendly events and advice. It is a website for parents, local Milwaukee parents to easily find the best things to do with their kids around the city. Now the website has a new name, MKE with Kids, and has become an essential resource for parents during the coronavirus crisis. We found that our readers were not all moms. We had a lot of dads following along who were home with their kids during the day or wanted to do things with their kids on the weekends. We had a lot of grandparents and nannies. We wanted to just be like super inclusive and welcoming to all of our readers and be true to our mission. The site is packed with local events, now mostly virtual, that parents can plan around while spending time safer at home. Since the, the virus hit, our traffic is like skyrocketed. Slowing down has been a really special thing. There are, um, there is something to be said for how much closer we are now. It's, it's been special to slow down and bake. Callie left her full-time career as a teacher and is now managing the website full-time with the help of some other local moms who help make sure the calendars are up to date. So on any given day, a mom or a dad can go to our website, you know, or a nanny or a grandma can go to our website and find something great to do with their kids. She also updates parents on what's going on for kids in the community through the Milltown Moms newsletter, Facebook, and Instagram page. We'll share like kid-friendly cafes, um, playgrounds that you, you'll want to definitely visit. Milwaukee really has so much to offer. Kelly has taken all um, she's learned from Central running Library. Milltown Moms and written a book called Exploring Milwaukee with Kids. She describes it as a travel guide, but for people who live here. It's almost like being a tourist in your own town. So while life for parents is a little more difficult than it has been in the past, there are still ways to take advantage of all Milwaukee has to offer. I say this to everybody just as I'm saying to myself, we let's take it a day at a time. Let's get outside. Let's get the sunshine. We are not alone in this. This week in Wisconsin history, it was May 15, 1966, when Milwaukee's Lakefront Depot train station closed for good. A grand Milwaukee landmark, the Lakefront Depot was a stone Romanesque-style building designed by Charles Sumner Frost that stood at the east end of Wisconsin Avenue. At its busiest, it serviced 98 trains per day. By 1966, usage was down. The railroad's operator began sharing the Milwaukee Road Depot in the valley, selling the valuable lakefront property to the county for $7 million. Efforts were made to save the depot from demolition, but the building was raised just two years later. Even though the building is gone, it left a mark. The struggle to save the lakefront depot sparked Milwaukee's historic preservation movement, leading to the creation of what eventually became Historic Milwaukee Incorporated. Is this this huge, like, return to home feeling for me. Still ahead, a school choir director finds a way to make music with students from afar. I think after all this, we, all parents really appreciate teachers. And next, a memorable Teacher Appreciation Week surprise. We're watching the world as we know it change daily. And CBS 58 continues to change and adapt. We're dedicated to keeping you informed, dedicated to keeping you safe, dedicated 
to you. This is Josh Duhamel. This land has seen it all. And no matter what comes, it'll always be here. Uncrowded and welcoming you to travel North Dakota's wide open spaces. Because we will get through this together. Be inspired at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. At Milwaukee Health Services Incorporated, your health is our business. Hey, what's up, Milwaukee? It's Sid, the entertainer here. This COVID-19 is taking the world by storm, but we can fight this pandemic. If you're experiencing symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath, go get tested. Tests are available at Milwaukee Health Services Incorporated right now at both locations, all right? If you are uninsured or without a primary medical provider, call for your assessment to get tested today. Hey, I'm Beachbody Super Trainer Autumn Calabrese, and I'm about to do one of my own workouts right here at home on my TV with Beachbody On Demand, and I'm inviting you to do it with me for free. It's just so easy with Beachbody On Demand. I can choose my workout, push play, and I get a great workout done without ever leaving the house. And if you're one of the first 10,000 people this week who text the code below to 303030, I'll text you back your own free membership. You can do the 21 day fix. These simple workouts are perfect for beginners. Or you can take it up a notch with the 21 day fix extreme. If you're looking for a longer program, you should try 80 day obsession. It's great for getting a total body transformation. Or if you want to do something fun, try Country Heat, my calorie burning dance program. Right there alone is over $800 of my fitness programs you can try for free. But this is your last chance to claim your free membership. Text FIX to 303030 and I'll see you on Beachbody On Demand. Your health is your most important asset. Following health measures set by the government and the CDC is crucial to slowing the spread of coronavirus. To stay informed in this rapidly evolving situation, visit coronavirus.gov or cbs58.com. We'll continue to consult with our senior class officers on an in-person ceremony and we'll keep you posted on the details. I can't wait to see you again out on the terrace as alumni of one of the greatest universities of the world. Congratulations and on Wisconsin. A message from UW-Madison Chancellor Rebecca Blank ahead of yesterday's 2020 spring commencement. The first virtual ceremony since the inaugural salute to graduates 166 years ago. The world's best-selling author James Patterson delivered the keynote address during the virtual program. Hi, hey there, class of 2020. How you doing? Hey, tell your folks I says hi. And UW Journalism School alum and comedian Charlie Behrens of Manitowoc Minute fame offered this advice to J School grads. Listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, okay? You're graduating at a weird time. It is weirder out there than a walleye hanging above a supper club urinal, okay? But that's okay because with chaos comes opportunity to be a great journalist. There ain't nothing the world needs more right now than truth. And you get to help us see it. We could also use a beer, but that's another story. So be skeptical, not cynical. Sift and winnow. If times get tough, and they will, just keep her moving, okay? Best wishes are going out to students of every age as the end of this unprecedented school year comes to a close. We've seen a number of heartwarming drive-by parades during this pandemic, celebrating birthdays, weddings, frontline workers, and students. Mike Kirkhoff captured one recently organized by kids and their parents to salute one special teacher. Great to see the kids. I haven't seen them for such a long time now, and it's been, it's been a rough month. It's been a rough time period for them and for us, and it's a big adjustment for all of us. After getting her own birthday parade and seeing her teacher there, Aubrey Ann Schutz and her mom Jennifer knew the next parade had to be for Mr. Mangan, her fourth grade teacher at Woodview Elementary. You know, he was such a good teacher, and he should get rewarded for that. They wanted to say thank you to Mr. Mangan, and I think after all this, we all parents really appreciate teachers. It wasn't his birthday, just a thank you parade from students like Aiden Werding. Mr. Mangan's really nice, so this was a good idea. They got draft and police and fire to lead the parade in front of a surprise Pat Mangan's house. Behind the first responders, a group of excited 9- and 10-year-olds. And no, they're not six feet apart right there, but before sending them to detention, here's Zach Schumacher, 
talking about what he misses most. I'm seeing all my friends. Um, that's pretty much it because friends are a part of life for me. I could not live without them. These kids haven't seen their school, their teacher, or each other in six weeks now. They've been e-learning, which the Grafton School District was on top of right away, but it's not easy for anyone in the process to be away from school right now, not teachers. We didn't really know how long this was going to last or what was going to happen, so it's just been it's a lot of lesson planning, a lot of preparing things way in advance, but then answering a lot of questions from kids, too, so it's, a, it's an overwhelming experience for all of us that are teaching. Not students. It sucks. I'm just saying that because I, I, I'm lost all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am. <laughs> And not the parents either. Virtual learning is really, it's not the easiest thing to do. And I give teachers a lot of credit, especially for handling, you know, a full classroom. It's tough just doing one kid. Without even knowing he was doing it, Mr. Mangan allowed the kids a chance to be kids again, even for just 20 minutes. Uh, I was actually really excited. I'm um, kind of nervous too, because I haven't seen them in forever. Hope that they realize that I care about them and. Just want them to be as successful as possible. I'm trying to get them ready for life, fifth grade and beyond. I wanted to keep singing alive and to give hope, I guess, to others. The uplifting collaboration providing hope through music. We're watching the world as we know it change daily. And CBS 58 continues to change and adapt. We're dedicated to keeping you informed, dedicated to keeping you safe, dedicated to you. Motorcycle accidents happen fast. Out of nowhere, your life can be turned upside down with all the medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. There's a lot on the line. Don't go it alone. Put a powerful law firm on your side, one that understands the complexity of motorcycle accidents and demands top dollar from the insurance company. QP and Abraham, tell them you mean business. USAA was made for right now. Right now is a time for action. So for a second time, we're giving members a credit on their auto insurance, because it's the right thing to do. We're also giving payment relief options to eligible members so they can take care of things like groceries before they worry about their insurance or credit card bills. Right now is a time to take care of what matters most like we've done together so many times before. Discover all the ways we're helping members at usaa.com slash coronavirus. Attention Medicare recipients. Medicare has expanded benefits to help you during these uncertain times. Coverage may now include many benefits to help you while at home. To find out what new Medicare Advantage benefits you can get in your area code, call the Medicare Coverage Helpline now. Hi, I'm Joe Namath. I called the Medicare Coverage Helpline and they instantly looked up my coverage. In this one simple call, they offered to enroll me in a plan that includes rides to medical appointments, private home aides, doctors and nurses visits by telephone, and even home delivered meals. Get what you're entitled to. Coverage may now also include dental, home delivered prescriptions, no deductibles, and no copays. Don't delay. Call to see if the new benefits are available in your area. It's free. Call 1 800 662 3800. That's 1 800 662 3800 now. Can't wait to see you when this whole thing is over. I love you and miss you all very much. And we can't wait to see you again. The healing power of music cannot be overstated during this pandemic. Individually and collectively, musicians are hosting virtual concerts. Also making music are hundreds of students from across Wisconsin, led by a local choir director and composer, using his skills as a music arranger to provide a positive, shared experience and lasting memory for young people who've had to sacrifice so much during this semester. Here's Michael Schlesinger. <laughs>
The song is called I Have Had Singing. The words come from English author Ronald Blythe and center around rural life throughout the 20th century. Choir director from Waukesha West High School, Zach Moore, first heard this piece as a youngster growing up in Eau Claire, and it's stuck with him ever since. The melody, the tempo. Now you might say it's come full circle. I've had singing. You write this for them is kind of a, a thank you to the community for what they gave me. And so wrote that piece. Ironically, UW Eau Claire also commissioned me at the same time to write a piece for their concert choir. And as well as one of the churches in the community also uh, asked me to write for them. And so it was just this, it was just this huge like return to home feeling for me. When the pandemic hit a few months ago, it basically halted so much in our world, including where Moore teaches. I remember specifically a junior coming up to me, not saying anything, just her face beat red and just just a waterfall of tears. And just the type of thing that just breaks my heart uh, as an educator. So he knew he owed it to himself, his student body, and so many others to do something positive. I wanted to keep singing alive and to give hope, I guess, to others. I think in times of, of peril, music is something that can always be there. And I wanted to show, especially young adolescents that, that over dramatize everything, that even though we're apart, that we can still be together virtually. You heard it right, a new kind of reality, a virtual choir sung by a thousand young adults from more than 30 middle and high schools all across Wisconsin. And they're singing the song he loves, of all things, under his direction. When I am using a student from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, singing a soprano part, and I line up a track with a student from Waterford, Wisconsin, and they line up perfectly. And they don't realize it, but somewhere, someone saying the exact same thing as they did almost to the T, and, and, and there's something to be hauntingly said there about how we're all still connected in all this, and it really is beautiful. While he's confined to his house during the pandemic, this instructor is using his time putting all those voices together with his Apple logic system in a rather intricate way. Each voice takes about five to seven minutes for me to uh, make sure the consonances are lining up, make sure that the cutoffs are happening at the same time. He tells me he's done a little tinkering with the reverberation and equalizer. I've only embellished enough to make it hopefully sound natural to what a choral sound should be and warm. Seeing how each singer recorded his or her version on either a cell phone or iPad, you have to admit what's been created is nothing really short of amazing. And while there have been some issues, the challenges were staying in tune. The result is a two minute song sung in a cappella, ending up on YouTube with sounds echoing for all to hear and even feel. Singing is out of this world in a psychological and physical type of way. I don't know how to explain it. Some people get shivers from music and all that when they're listening to specific moments that hit them the right way. It's that combination of the shared human experience, I think, with the sinking of the heartbeats that you feel like you're part of something bigger. talking about that I was so looking forward to get back into the gym. Still to come, a local gym owner finds a way to give back and keep his clients moving. Well, because it is on the highest natural point in uh, the city of Milwaukee, but they really don't know the architect, they don't know the history, they don't know why it was built here. We're going to look inside a hidden gem of Milwaukee.
Your health is your most important asset. The coronavirus pandemic can be very stressful. Exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, and avoid alcohol and drugs. To stay informed in this rapidly evolving situation, visit coronavirus.gov or cbs58.com. Through Monday, purchase a Beautyrest mattress from Hasselist and get a free box spring. Or take an equal amount off an adjustable base. Free next day delivery, too. Open 9 to 9 with 8 employee free locations. Or shop online at hasselist.com. Thank you for taking care of me and taking a huge burden off my shoulders. Thank you, Gruber Law Offices. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. Staying in touch has never been more important. So U.S. Cellular has extended its plan to waive data overage charges by two more months. Now through July 31st, no matter what plan you're on, you'll have the smartphone data you need and not be charged for any overages. That way, you can work from home, check the latest headlines, and stay in touch with family and friends without worrying about your bill. So even if you have to be apart, you can stay in touch. U.S. Cellular. We know not everyone wants the same service, but everyone wants the peace of mind that the cremation is taken care of right. Our website lets you plan a cremation anytime and pay with a credit card. It's for those situations when price is the main factor being considered. At the same time, you can trust that your loved one will be treated with dignity and respect. It's simple, dignified, low cost cremation. Through Monday, purchase a Beautyrest mattress from Hasselist and get a free box spring. Or take an equal amount off an adjustable base. Free next day delivery, too. Open 9 to 9 with 8 employee free locations. Or shop online at Hasselist.com. Your health is your most important asset. Eating healthy is important now more than ever. Stock up on nutrition-packed foods that will stay fresh for a week or even longer. To stay informed in this rapidly evolving situation, visit coronavirus.gov or cbs58.com. The Big Bang Theory, tonight at 6 on WMLW BM. It's a local landmark perched above the city itself. Milwaukee's Calvary Cemetery is the final resting place for many of the city's founding fathers. But at its highest point is a place where a few are allowed to enter. And it turns out the chapel at Calvary Cemetery has a story all its own. This morning, Roe Schmidt takes us inside in our Sunday morning spotlight. Hidden among headstones, but never too far from sight. Everybody sees it. You can see it from Blue Mound. You can see it from Holly Road, and people drive by and they can see it. It's been said it's seen by many, known by few. But they really don't know the architect. They don't know the history. They don't know why it was built here. Uh, they don't know the history of the cemetery either. Think of this chapel as history on a hill in Milwaukee's oldest Catholic cemetery. Because it is on the highest natural point in uh, the city of Milwaukee, this can be very clearly seen when you're driving on 94 uh, westbound. The chapel is usually closed to the public, but we got a rare look inside thanks to the Friends of Calvary Cemetery. Friends like Keith Schultz. This building here is pure architecture. And as an architect himself, Keith would be the one to ask. Matter of fact, this building is one of the 10 uh, most endangered buildings uh, in the state of Wisconsin. To understand this, we have to go back to 1992, the year when the Catholic Archdiocese petitioned to have the chapel torn down. For good reason. Uh, it was beginning to fall apart. Bricks were popping off of the, the domes. But the Friends of Calvary Cemetery stepped in. We are the nonprofit raising the money for the restoration. That's another friend, Tim Richter. They believed this sacred space should stay right where it is. This building was built on the top of what's known as Jesuit Hill now, and it became known as Jesuit Hill because most of the people buried here are Jesuit priests. Now we go back even further. Originally, when the cemetery was uh, established, there was a cross on the top of the hill. And after a few decades, in 1899, uh, this building was commissioned to replace the cross. Catholics hired architect Erhard Brielmeyer to design the chapel. A very prolific uh, architect for the archdiocese. 
um, 100 years ago. His work can be seen across the city. In fact, the chapel at Calvary Cemetery is a miniature version of the Basilica at St. Joseph at. The chapel was built for clergy, and a lot of people wonder uh, who was buried down here. The chapel's bottom level holds a few mysteries of its own. There are 45 crypts, and you'll notice all are empty all except one. Whenever we give people tours, that's the first question they ask is, where is everybody? Well, there never have been anyone except for Father Terry Shaywitz. To understand this part of the story, here's another friend, historian Cy Kryline. This chapel was finished in 1902. It was consecrated in 1902. Everything was in place to bury priests. And Father Terry Shaywitz, dies in 1903. This is Father Tarashevitz as a young pastor. Okay. Father Tarashevitz was the pastor at St. Casimir, yet another building designed by the same architect as the chapel. Father Tarashevitz is the only person who's ever been buried here, and many people ask why. It could never be used as an actual crypt for safety reasons because there's not adequate ventilation. Because bodies give off gases, and it was decided that it was impractical to bury people any longer. So Father Tyre Shavitz is the only one he's been resting here quite happily all these years. Cy, Tim, and Keith want it to stay that way. No other building is like this. You can't build anything like this anymore. Between its spot on the hill and the materials used. It's made out of uh, Cream City brick, which cannot be made anymore. That material is long gone. They believe this sanctuary is worth safeguarding. We've basically kept the building from falling apart. Uh, we are keeping the elements, the snow and the rain, the ice from getting into the building. There are reasons both historical and as personal as the names on these graves. I had taught German at Marquette University High School for 45 years with the Jesuits. A lot of my colleagues actually are buried around the, around the hill. This is the highest, most natural spot in the city of Milwaukee. And the nonprofit has raised about $60,000 since the early 90s, raising enough money to replace the dome's roofs and make other improvements. Every time that we're open, every time we have a function here, whether it's uh, on Memorial Day uh, or on uh, Doors Open Milwaukee or any kind of special events, People always come in and give us donations. Donations they continue to ask for. We have a lot of people with a lot of passion for history, for the cemetery, for architecture, and for uh, the archdiocese. So we're looking for donations to complete this work. Hoping this place that's seen by many can be known by a few more. You'll find today's stories and those from previous episodes at cbs58.com slash Sunday morning. And please send your at cbs58.com. Kind of just, it, the timing honestly just worked out perfectly. Still to come, stay at home helping pets find a home. Stay healthy, stay fit. And uh, the latest one is stay sane. <laughs> you got to stay sane. And next, a local gym owner finds ways to keep his members moving while doing some good for the community. Have a leaky faucet? Call Roman Electric today for the $39.95 Spring Service Call Special. And no, we practice social distancing and sanitize each workspace. They're the ones you trust. Roman Electric. Now offering plumbing, heating, and cooling. To our Pick and Save Associates, from the long hours and late nights, for the miles traveled and the shelves restocked, for making a difference in our customers' lives, for doing so much more than your job. Everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you. In a time when daily life feels a bit uncertain, your hard work is keeping America fed. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Have you been receiving nasty pay us or else threatening letters or phone calls from creditors or their lawyers? Maybe you're even being sued over unpaid debts or facing garnishment actions. Lawsuits disappear through bankruptcy. This right to eliminate debt through bankruptcy is so important it's in the U.S. Constitution. Let me help get rid of your debt.
especially now during this difficult time. We can file a Chapter 7 or 13 bankruptcy to protect you or your business from creditors. So when the crisis is over, you'll have the fresh start you deserve. Now is the time to free yourself from crushing debt and constant worry. Call us right now to book your free initial consultation with one of our attorneys. Then relax and let me take it from here. Day or night, call 414-223-0000, the bankruptcy law offices of Richard A. Check. Have a light that doesn't light? Call Roman Electric today for the $39.95 Spring Service Call Special. And know we practice social distancing and sanitize each workspace. They're the ones you trust. Roman Electric. Now offering plumbing, heating, and cooling. In this uncertain world, you are right there on the front lines. Facing the unknown and risking your own lives to save ours. The work is hard, the hours are long, and the stress can be overwhelming. But your work has not gone unnoticed. We see you and we appreciate everything that you do. Stay strong and keep fighting the good fight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hear it a lot these days, the importance and benefits of staying active even while staying home. That mantra inspired the owner of a fitness training facility to create an online challenge to keep his clients moving. But there's an added benefit. As Natalie Shepard explains, he's also donating the proceeds to local charities. Hey, back into the clean jacks. And total. It helps to have a coach to keep you motivated through a workout. We have 30 seconds to go. Keeping you motivated through your plank jacks or those one-legged glute bridges. Yeah, keep the tips nice and square. But it's a lot harder to do these days with gyms closed. It's used to go do something. So, Tan Nguyen owns D1 Training in Mequon. If the facility looks new, that's because it is. It opened three weeks before the Safer at Home order went into effect. We open March 2nd. <laughs> Didn't take long. He found a way to take his facility's boot camp experience online. We're going to coach you. We're going to be on your butt every day. We're going to make sure you're going to do this. Like a lot of things these days, it's on Zoom. So this is what clients would be seeing. Coaches can see the clients, and clients can see the workout. Group fitness by yourself. We have the spectrum of the people now. Great. It's a natural you know, fit so for Nguyen. He's an athlete himself. I play volleyball and soccer, and my wife's a runner. And like a lot of people, he was finding himself in need of structure and motivation. Stay healthy, stay fit, and uh, the latest one is stay sane. <laughs> you got to stay sane, you know? Staying sane meant helping others, too. He turned the boot camp class into a challenge. 28 days of classes for $28. Clients are challenged to take a class every day. You're working out, the coaches are pushing. You guys, you got, you're halfway there. You got two more minutes, you got one minute. Okay, round's done, water. But there's more. The proceeds, after paying coaches, are going to the family sharing food pantry and also to Gigi's Playhouse in Fox Point. Our mission is to change the way the world sees Down syndrome. Board President Sue Pelican says it's a good fit for Gigi's. D1 contacted us, said, hey, we're a new fitness center, and we said, hey, glad to meet you. We love our community partners. Would you like to partner together and roll out Gigi Fit Teen? A program they hope to launch this summer for teens with Down syndrome. It addresses their balance issues, their low muscle tone issues, their joint instability, and really creates a program that they can follow. Wynn says that's important for everyone, creating a program you can follow to keep you moving. And he hopes to see his clients back on the turf at D1 in the future. The people that with a 28 day challenge, already talking about, they're so looking forward to get back into the gym. This year, their week comes in the middle of a life and death struggle to control coronavirus. There are about 90,000 nurses across Wisconsin, and they're being challenged like never before. This morning, Pauline Lee, who comes from a family of nurses, shares some thoughts on National Nurses Week. Hello everyone, Pauline here, coming to you from my home studio. I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy during this time. This week is National Nurses Week. 
It's a time dedicated to honoring our nurses, saying thank you for all they do to help keep our community safe and healthy. This year's theme for National Nurses Week is a voice to lead, nursing the world to health. Pretty fitting, isn't it, during the coronavirus pandemic? I have three nurses in my family. First, I have my older sister, Eileen. She's a registered nurse in Des Moines, Iowa, and very busy these days taking care of COVID-19 patients. She also recently just got married and looking forward to starting that next chapter in her life, starting a family. And then I have my cousin, Amy, always with that bright smile. Well, her smile's a little tough to see these days under all of her personal protective equipment. But trust me when I say it's there, as she always has one, always ready, always willing to take care of COVID-19 patients as a registered nurse in Connecticut. And finally, I have my cousin Jackie, a registered nurse in Phoenix, Arizona. She too is taking care of COVID-19 patients. By the way, today is also Mother's Day. A happy Mother's Day to Jackie. This is just her second Mother's Day, by the way. She and my cousin Ty have a little one, Maven. Well, during this tough time, I know a lot of us are feeling anxious and worried about what the future may hold. But for those of us who have loved ones fighting on the front lines, there's a sense of uneasiness we also feel. We wonder if when our loved ones go to work on the floor or in the department or in the wing that serves just coronavirus patients, if they'll have enough personal protective equipment to keep themselves safe. We wonder if they'll be the ones to comfort a patient as they take their last breaths, losing their battle to COVID-19. Maybe they'll be holding the phone so that their loved ones can say goodbye since visitors sometimes aren't allowed. We wonder if they can make it through an entire shift without getting infected and then taking the virus home and spreading it unknowingly to their family and friends. There's a lot I wonder about these days. But there's also a sense of comfort that I feel. Comfort that comes from knowing that Eileen, Amy, and Jackie all chose to become a nurse. They chose to put their lives on the line to help nurse patients back to health from potentially deadly diseases. They chose. It's often said that nursing isn't just a profession. It's a way of living. And I've always said it takes a special person to become a nurse, one with a certain amount of courage and compassion. I, for one, cannot see what you see and do what you do day in and day out. Nursing is also thought of a rather thankless profession, sometimes overlooked. Well, while this week we celebrate our nurses, we should really be celebrating them every single day. To all the nurses, past, present, and future, please know that you are appreciated. Your work matters and you are so loved. You are heroes. When people do start going back to work, it'll make things a lot easier. For many, time at home means time to adopt. When you step outside, you need to be ready. And whether you're in Milwaukee, Waukesha, Racine, or anywhere in between. Wisconsin weather changes fast, and accurate, timely information from the CBS 58 Ready Weather Team makes all the difference. Let us earn your trust. We'll get you ready. Switch to Ready Weather on the CBS 58 News. For Hyundai and its dealers, the health and safety of our local communities have always come first. And right now, we're all safer at home. But should you need a vehicle, we have options to shop online. And a participating dealer will deliver it right to you. And to ease the financial strain, you'll make no payments for 90 days. Together, we can create a safer, better car buying experience. Get 0% APU. Tucson and make no payments for 90 days. Visit HyundaiUSA.com today. 
member of American Home Shield, which means this faucet may be freaking out, but I'm not. All good here. Something's wrong with my AC. It's blowing pretty hard and it won't turn off. Luckily, I'm a member of American Home Shield. My plan helps cover the cost when parts of more than 20 home appliances and systems wear out. If they can't repair them, they'll replace them. American Home Shield is the largest and pays the most home warranty claims. It covers things home insurance does it, no matter their age. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> I've never felt so good. Give American Home Shield a call to find the right plan for you. 800-658-2617. That's 800-658-2617. Hey, Janice! One-of-a-kind jewelry starts right here. Every day I think of my father. We've designed and manufactured as a team. Every piece brings with it quality, value, but most importantly, it brings with us family tradition. Lusar's House of Fine Diamonds. Invest your money in entertainment projects, film productions, TV productions, concert tours, music productions, entertainment technology companies. $250,000 investment, impossible 100% return. Contact us to learn more. Getting hungry? Head over to CBS58.com and find Ready to Serve under the Coronavirus tab. You'll find all your favorites, and maybe you'll find something new to try. CBS 58's Ready to Serve. Check it out today. A growing number of people are discovering how pets can provide comfort and relief during these challenging times. As Megan Reistead found out, animal shelters are busy connecting pets of the pandemic with foster families and forever homes. Hey, hi. <laughs> with three kids, Ashley Gilbert and her family have <laughs> added another member to the pack. So this is Duncan. This is our new puppy. A 15-week-old, full of energy, unexpected addition. We hadn't planned on getting a puppy at this point. Um, we just lost our 14-and-a-half-year-old beagle back at the end of February. So we were thinking we would probably get a dog probably this summer. And then um, the whole quarantine happened, and they were the kids were home from school indefinitely. And so we just decided to uh, go ahead and get him now. Ashley says her kids have been a big help. The timing honestly just worked out perfectly. We're helping train and it's been pretty fun and trying to teach him new tricks and going out in the yard and running around. And he's pretty silly when he plays. And the Gilberts are not alone in recently adopting a pet. Just ask Angela Speed from Wisconsin Humane Society. I am um, talking to you from my own home with my dog, Sweetie Pie. She is a WHS alum and also a foster failure, which we've been having a lot of lately. Speed says WHS has never seen a situation like this. This might possibly be the first time in our 140 year history where we have shelters that actually have no animals inside them. Speed says WHS's shelter population is down 80% compared to April last year. She says it depends on the day, but between more people offering to foster and an increase in adoptions, some WHS facilities are without or almost without animals. I believe we only have two dogs in the entire facility here at Arozaki campus. The public response to this has just been absolutely overwhelmingly amazing um we our website actually crashed at one point because there were so many foster parents trying to apply to become foster parents um we had a 700 percent increase in web traffic uh and people just coming out of the woodwork trying to help in any way that they possibly can initially speed says staff didn't know what to expect with the covid 19 pandemic Starting in mid-March, when this all came down, we put out a plea to the community to help us clear our shelters. And within a week, we had adopted or fostered out 318 animals, virtually emptying the shelter of all animals who could leave the building. And other area shelters say the same. Staff at Elmbrook Humane Society say, to their surprise, they haven't seen an increase in animals needing to be surrendered during the pandemic. And at Humane Animal Welfare Society, or HAWS of Waukesha, this video shows the cat adoption ward completely emptied out on April 20th. So brings the question, why now?
What is it about this pandemic that is making people want to bring animals into their families? Um, well, I think, you know, we all recognize that our animals are a source of comfort and stress relief. Back at the Gilbert, Duncan has found his forever home. What do you kids think of Duncan? What is, what is, what's the coolest thing about Duncan? Um, that he's been learning some tricks pretty fast and he's fun to play with. Yeah. You guys like to play with him outside? We like yeah. to run yeah. around? He can almost, he's almost faster than me. <laughs> and while so much of our lives is uncertain right now, Ashley says there's no doubt this pup joined her family at just the right time. Everybody pretty much has the time. It's easy to get them trained and potty trained and integrated in and then you know when people do start going back to work it'll make things a lot easier and now a moment in wisconsin at Battersea preserve in muskego For something new under the sun, CBS Sunday Morning with host Jane Pauley is next. Thank you for sharing part of your morning with us. To moms and mother figures everywhere, happy Mother's Day. Hope to see you back here again next Sunday morning. Start your weekdays off fresh with Mike Kirk.